All right, this is the finished product, but let's go back and see how it was done. At this point, I've laid out the foreman drain and most of the rebar long chunks. I still need to lay out these little L pieces that we bent a while back. And then we have a lot of extra foreman drain left. So once I get a tape, we'll have to figure out where all that goes and where I've shorted some areas. We're setting our corners here so that way we can get our footers going with our little laser. We've got one corner not even set, but put together. And we're finding our length to make our first cut. And there's thunder clouds rolling in. If we went a little shorter, we could squish it to length properly. Or just assume they go butt to butt. I mean, if the footers are off by like half an inch, it's not a huge deal. Right. So we good? Yeah. I was off doing other things and Aaron and his uncle Cleet got some string set up for us. Instead of relying on our laser, this is an older but better way. And I think I would agree. So our form and drain goes right in between the two orange strings and now they're just dropping stakes so that way we can place our form and drain forms right up next to it and that should help it go a lot quicker. They're double checking our diagonal to make sure it's actually square or a rectangle in this case. So we're just an eighth off. Eight. That's the one we were last time. Or no, we were three eighths. Yeah, we're three eighths either way. So the diagonal is spot on. Check this length. Probably should check the length. Since our basement's deeper than we thought it would be, we're checking the height of the tank and making sure it'll come out exactly where we want it so that way we don't have to do like a pumping system we can just use gravity fed because that's definitely better so i accidentally deleted all the videos from yesterday so i'm going to give you a quick little recap of everything we did last night right now i'm standing in what will be uh the extra like apartment studio size apartment downstairs in the basement and we finished putting in the footer for this wall last night. We measured it out and connected it. We also worked on setting up the rest of the sides and connecting them. And then we used a plumb bob off of the string to set heights on these stakes down below. So like this one's right at the top. That's the height of where we want that footer to be at poor day. And I worked on digging down little slots for our dropped footers and putting in our 90s that we traveled to St. Louis to get. So we're measuring out the length of this room so that way we can put another string down for the ones on that side and make sure that this room is square. Also known as a reference. Yes. So Aaron's uncle Cleet taught us a nifty method to make this <laughs> string really tight and keep it tight instead of having to like fiddle with a knot. So you pull it 
until it feels like it's not going to pull anymore because there's a lot of slack that you can pull out of these. And then you take it with one hand and you wrap it around quite a few times. You pull it back to the screw and then you pull your loose end and that holds it in place. Super cool. I've never seen that done before, but it works really well. Well, now we can set it. As you can tell, it's uh perfect. Very far off. Ugh. I didn't get too many clips of it, but I went ahead and screwed in these screws all the way along the interior of our forma drain. That way, when we put the cement in, the forms don't try to fall away from the cement. It'll stay locked into place. And then while I've been doing that, Erin's been putting these sticks all the way along. So that way we can screw it up to the height that we need. So getting the footer square is only part of the equation here. We also need to make sure that the height is set right. So that way when we set our ICF blocks on it, it is nice and level. So that way when we build the rest of our house up, it stays good. So after he zeroed in on the heights that we already have set, he's using it now to Get the heights on these new stakes so we can get the inside level. We changed up our method a little bit instead of Aaron marking all the posts, we're just looking at the line on the tool here, and then I'm just screwing them in right away. It's a little quicker this way. Ready? Two, no, too high. I'm gonna have to dig out then. More down, more dig. Probably more dig. <laughs> the boys are filling in underneath. I'm getting distracted some by some rocks here and there. So that way the cement doesn't pour out the bottom. Our stakes and our braces should keep the forms in place when the cement goes in. It's really not good when your cement pours out of the bottom. You might want to see a doctor. <laughs> Since this trench from Thursday is still holding up, I'm going to start working on the other three for our vertical sections. So, here we are. So today's Monday and the cement gets poured Thursday and we have an inspection Wednesday so got a lot to button up in a couple days. Um, still have to finish the vertical parts of the step footer and set these the elevations on that and set the rebar in place. Um, today we drilled holes for the to transfer water from either side to the other. That'll all be tied into a sump pit. And on this side, um, we're planning on doing a drain to daylight. Somewhere out that way. So we have to trench quite a bit eventually. This is our Mr. Footer Frog. 
Nope, don't do it. Goodbye, buddy. I'll miss you, little buddy. Go that way. Did you scream? Aaron's working on cutting the vertical pieces. I'm currently cutting the boards to go behind the vertical form and drain, so that way the cement doesn't uh, spill out. And also I would like you all to know that I am aware this isn't great work clothes, but I came for the dance thing, so it's what I had. We have our footer inspection tomorrow, so we have a lot to do tonight before it's ready. Let's get to work. As you guys saw, my family came to help. They helped pack dirt in underneath the form and drain. Marked these so that way we know how deep they go into the cement on poor day. And helped me lay rebar inside and bend it. We do still need to tie that up. We won't be doing that tonight. Uh, we also cut the rest of the PVCs. And I think that's pretty much everything we did. Pretty productive evening. We just have to pack dirt down in the step footer and also put wood on the front so that way the concrete just doesn't flow out. What you thinking? Yep, still a lot to go. I don't know when the inspection is. This morning my goal is to finish up everything, especially since we have inspection today, so I kind of have to do that. Um, the first thing I'm going to start with, because I know this is definitely part of the inspection, is I'm going to go around and mark all of our braces at four inches in, and then I'll tie these to it. I'm going to do all the marking first though. Go again. So if I got too tight, they break off. That's the first time that I've had break, actually. Okay, we'll go with that. Today's inspection day, so I showed up pretty early this morning to finish all the other things we needed to do. And it is now 1230-ish. The inspector hasn't shown up as far as I know. I haven't gotten a confirmation call that he was here before I was. Um, and he hasn't shown up while I've been here. So I think we're all good. I tied the rebar, uh, put more dirt beside it, marked the rest of the 18 inch vertical marks, cleaned up the work site a little bit. And I think we should be ready for tomorrow. Let the chaos begin.
good with that and with pepper and a bit of honey and honey pepper. Okay, he wants to know. I think he's waiting for someone to tell him if he's where he's. Oh, oh, you want to go down here? I said you'll need it. You'll need it when you do maybe when you do the basement or the walls, one or two. Is it poured on us? It was completely dry and then it poured. Look at that wheelbarrow, how full it is. It's quite a bit of waters. Well, huh. So this is what the hail and the rain did to the top of our cement and I'm going back through and trying to smooth it back in. You can't really tell super great, but it looks a little better where I go. So Christina is crawling out some of the ready mix that we mixed in my Uncle Cleet's uh, cement mixer. We calculated exactly what we needed and then we added a whole extra yard of concrete and that still was not enough for our job here so for future times we will err on the side of caution so we don't have to do this again <laughs> haul van loads of buckets of quickcrete down from my uncle's house he's trying to find the center Right there. Wait. Oh, better idea to find center. <laughs> yeah, that's 
right here. Oh, okay. X marks the spot. Yeah. Let's see if I can find the center axis of the house. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the address witcher. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>